In Fallout 2, you can come across my favorite encounter in the entire series, the Guardian of Forever. When first arriving at this special encounter, it may just look like some ruins, but if you're to walk through the Ark, you will take a trip through space and time. On the other side, the Chosen One will find themselves inside Vault 13, but not the Vault 13 that appears in Fallout 2. This is Vault 13 from before the events of the original Fallout. You're able to explore this level of the vault, but there's no NPCs to interact with. The Chosen One can loot a bunch of Vault 13 water flasks and even some weapons they may find in the locker. And also, don't forget about the Solar Scorcher that lies on the floor here. There's one terminal inside the mainframe of the vault that seems to be making noise, and if you interact with it, that's when the fun really starts. It seems the Chosen One pressed too many buttons or didn't exactly know what they were doing because upon messing with the computer, it breaks the water chip for Vault 13, putting into effect the events of Fallout 1, which in the log says gives you some kind of strange comfort. The core of this encounter is a reference to the city on the edge of Forever, which is a Star Trek episode that saw Kirk and Spock take a similar portal, named the Guardian of Forever, to New York in the 1920s. Get fucked.